I would like to thank you all for generously gifting to the Festival of Trees this year. As you know, uh, the Festival of Trees has uh, generously provided the funds to the newborn ICU here at St. Alphonsus. We are very excited. Uh, we are focusing on impl implementing family-centered care in the NICU, and um, this is going to be critical to the development of our babies, their improved outcomes, and for um, an improved experience for families as their babies are critically ill in the, in the hospital. I would just like you to think about if you've had children before, if you're expecting children in the future, um, when you become pregnant, there's sort of this expectation of what your pregnancy is going to be like, what your birth and delivery are going to be like, and going home with your baby after giving um, birth to him or her in the hospital. And um, when the baby is born sick or is born too early, they end up needing to be admitted to the newborn ICU. All of that is essentially fractured. Those plans and expectations are now gone. And now the most beautiful, precious piece of this person's life is changed and the course has changed and their baby is here in the newborn ICU needing continuous monitoring, procedures, IV fluids, multiple labs and now their expectation of taking this beautiful baby home with them has changed to not even being sure if they can touch their child or if they can hold their child. Um, and so the reason this is so important is they're hoping that by implementing some changes in the newborn ICU that we'll be able to support these families in a way that we can help them um, forge a, a bond with their baby very early on and allow them to be as involved as possible with their infants in the NICU. Um, so one of the first things that we're going to do is purchase um, Nuru swaddlers, which are a great product that uh, are used to support skin-to-skin -skin care or kangaroo care. We know babies who are held early on um, by their parents, um, right on their chest, skin-to-skin -skin, uh, benefit remarkably from being with their parents. Um, this Nuru is a nice tight swaddler that helps to allow the baby to bundle up with their parents in a safe way and um, a very um, secure way. Uh, we know that babies who do skin-to-skin -skin, skin care with their parents have improved neurodevelopment improve neurodevelopment. Uh, their brains mature um, in a more organized manner. They have more quiet sleep. They have less stress, less pain and agitation. And at the same time, parents have less stress and are able to bond with their children, have less postpartum depression, and are able to produce more breast milk for their babies. This will be critical and we're very excited about um, introducing them in the unit. The next thing we're planning on doing is um, remodeling our milk prep area. So. Breast milk is critical to the health of a newborn baby and especially a premature or a sick baby. Um, currently we have a small space where we um, uh, prep our milk for the babies during the day. Every day mom's milk is um, put into bottles and prepared. Uh, we are going to uh, remodel this area in a different part of the hospital and it will be an isolated milk prep station uh, that will be more safe, more sanitary um, and will allow for the best possible way of preparing a baby's breast milk for each 24-hour period. Um, the next thing that we'll be looking at doing is remodeling our family sleep rooms. So we have uh, a few sleep rooms here right outside of the unit that uh, could be remodeled and so uh, we really like to encourage that these families are able to stay with their babies as close as possible and sometimes it's limited by the, the space that we have currently so we're going to remodel this space so there's a room that will accommodate families uh, they will be able to bring their children with them and they can stay for the full 24 hour 48 hour period whatever is necessary we'll remodel the other remaining rooms as well just to make them more homey uh, to help encourage families to stay as close to their babies as possible throughout their hospital stay so again, we're very excited about all these changes and I think that the babies here in our unit are going to eternally um, benefit as their families will. And uh, we sincerely appreciate um, your generous gift and uh, look forward to see what's to come. Thank you. Thank you to the Board of the Festival of Trees for making us uh, the recipient of uh, the 2016 award. I'm just going to share some of the improvements we're making in the NICU um, with the funds that we're receiving. So. The first thing I want to show you is the NICVIEW camera. Um, this camera allows parents to be able to see their babies and what's going on with their babies when they're not physically present in the unit. And um, many parents have told us that this is a comfort to them, that even when they're at home uh, resting or spending time with the rest of their families, they can still feel connected to their baby who is hospitalized. The other thing that we've uh, uh, that we've added to are the Sonicue noise meters. 
In, in the unit, um, with taking care of critically ill babies and with all the activity that goes on, um, it's very easy for the noise levels to go up. And, um, and so we found through, through research that um, excessive noise levels can impair a baby's ability, um, development and also damage the ear. In the womb, the sound noise levels are less than 40 decibels, um, but it's very easy to get above that. So our sonic cue meters are green when our, when our noise levels are less than 45 decibels. But it, as you can see, I'm trying to keep my voice on even keel, but as I get closer, the, the light turns to yellow. And in the yellow range, it's above 45, in the 50 to 70 range. And then when it turns red, we're above 70, which we don't want to be. So that, that helps us to be aware of the noise levels and, and the risks to the baby and try to keep the noise levels as low as possible. The other thing that we've added, are, or we're increasing in numbers, are our recliners. Um, parents are going through a very difficult time trying to uh, adjust to the fact that they have a critically ill baby in the unit. And they spend a lot of time here visiting. Uh, we encourage a, a collaborative approach and we want the families here as much as possible. And so we have these recliners so they can rest. And it also facilitates holding their babies where they can do skin to skin and, and bond and feel connected and feel they're playing an integral role in the care of their infant.